it's the day of my top surgery with my mom. Okay, so I just got some, like, you know, medical bracelets on. Just chilling out in the lobby now, waiting for for uh, some nurse to come get me. Kind of boring, but I'm very excited. <laughs> I've only been, like, smiling like this the whole morning. And I can't get any food today, so that sucks. I'll let you know about pre-op stuff, and then I'll see you after surgery. Hi, YouTube. Yeah. I got an IV in my hand. I'm getting ready. Oh, really? We're going to do a... Numbing block thing on my chest. Stick my hands over me so I feel less pain afterward. I'm in this like big bear, a bear, bear paw thing right now. <laughs> it's blowing hot air into my soup, so it keeps me warm. And I'm gonna get fentanyl, right, mom? Fentanyl. Yeah, and something else to make you sleepy. And then the general anesthesia. I'm on fentanyl right now. Takes you a long way. For some anesthesiologists, I got a nerve block in my chest, which is like really weird pain. Like I could, it kind of hurt. They just did it a pretty long needle in both sides of my chest, and like it felt like it was going through like different layers of tissue. Like it wasn't like really bad pain, but I could feel it like going through the layers. It was really weird. And a ton of people were in here because like these people were learning. Like so a bunch of people were watching to learn how to do it. It's kind um, of about the music in your brain. Yeah, I can play music in my brain. All, that's not just right now, like, all the time. But I have California by Childish Gambino. It's like, my hand. And I wish I could make that play, like, for my phone. But I don't want to bug other people. So. <laughs> my mouth is super, super dry. And I want water, but I can't have any water. You're going to be going in soon. Yeah. My mouth is, like, so sticky. But also, um, my voice sounds really low to me. It's like weird. Do you think so? But she won't. I'm not. Sounds weird. Yeah. Which I think because I'm like because you're on drugs. On drugs and like just tired. Like I just took a nap for like I don't know how long did I nap for, mom? Not even five minutes. Short nap. I dreamt about getting ice cream. <laughs> and then the doctor came came in and I said, please give me scars that are that don't look like I have boobs. And he said, cool, we'll do it so that they're kind of straight and then they curve up in the side on my pec line. So then it looks like I have nice ma masculine pecs. Also, a lot of the nurses and stuff here use he, him pronouns for me, which I assume they just do because, you know, they think I'm a trans guy. But I'm non binary, so. I yeah. just didn't correct anybody because I don't really care. He, him is also fine, but, you know. Adrian? Yeah, I noticed. Hello. That. Editing Adrian here. So after I filmed that last update before my surgery, I ended up waiting for about four hours <laughs> before I actually went into the operating room. My surgery was scheduled for about noon, um, but then it got delayed a long time. So I just basically slept through all that and didn't know, like wasn't cognizant of like time really. Um, Cause I was like on drugs and stuff. And I was like sleeping in and out. But my mom like told me when, when I woke up and stuff, like you basically just slept for the four hours. And she just like sat there waiting in the room with me because she didn't want to like not be there when I got called in or something. So um, yeah, I was in the room for a long time and when I woke up from my surgery, I didn't know that my surgery had been delayed. So it was like 9 p.m. And I was like really worried, like, did something go wrong with my surgery? Because it seemed like it took a lot longer than I expected, but uh, it was just because it got delayed. So anyway, here is me after surgery. Surgery. That's good. Hello, it's the day after surgery. I went to the hospital a little less than 12 hours ago, or a little more than 12 hours ago. Now I'm home in my family house, and I, um, I'll show you in the mirror. If I can, oh, that didn't work. Whatever, I can, I'm all wrapped up. And I have two drains, which I will not show, because they have blood on them, right in them, and, um, I'm just laying in bed the whole day and my voice sounds weird I think because I put a breathing tube down when I was asleep but I don't remember that because I was already out. I have some pain in like the middle of my chest which I think is because they didn't cut any nerves there so it's still very irritating. Um, and the rest of my chest I don't have a lot of pain. And I, it's cool like I keep trying I keep going to like touch my chest 
because you know when you get something hurt you like want to touch it and then I, I feel like I'm like oh wait, it goes in more than it used to so that's fun I have no movies anymore and then he said he didn't hit any lymph nodes oh that's good I got all my lymph nodes as you can see my face is kind of like red and kind of swollen looking I think that's from the medicine I'm on though I don't think it's bad but I'm really no fever so no fever really oily and red face but um yeah it's been good i'm really happy still with it and i'm i'm really excited i haven't seen any of what it looks like with the bandages yet but um it'll be exciting to see my actual reveal i had like this orange stuff all over my neck and face a little bit here i think it was like a antibacterial of some kind and um my brother said he had that when he had surgery on his wrist like a few months ago and um so he wiped it when I got home, wiped it off for me. So that was yesterday. My family been helping me in the bathroom and stuff. I can pee and stuff on my own and wipe, but it's just hard to get my um, shorts down. So somebody they help me with that. Anyway, I think that's most of my commentary for now. I'm wearing really loose shorts now, like sweat shorts, sweatpants shorts, and um, just like loose button up. I used to be wearing basketball shorts and a hoodie, a black hoodie, but um, the basketball shorts were kind of hard to get off, surprisingly. Um, so I'm just wearing these now that are really loose. Good day. Hey y'all, it's day one of recovery. I don't think I made any videos today yet, so I'm gonna keep on relaxing and eating ice cream. Hello, day two of recovery. Just giving you a quick update on doing um, I keep getting pain in, like, the middle of my chest and my armpits still. Um, the armpits are probably the worst, and I kind of, like, took a peek at the middle of my chest right underneath my bandage here, and, um, looks kind of nasty, so I'm kind of getting used to where my chest is now, like, I'm not, I don't have, like, the phantom anymore. My nipples are really wide in my chest, which is funny, like, I kind of knew that would happen, but I didn't think about it. My mom is gonna clean my drains now, which really sucks, because it always feels like they're drains will pull out but they don't pull out because there's a stitch there. I have my drains held onto my body. I'm going to show like part of my drain so if you don't like blood, don't look at this. But like they're um, they actually don't come out right here. They come out under my armpits but like they um, leave like wrapped around the front like here you can see and then tied in a place with this like sticky gauze stuff. That's what the drains are like right now. Sticky gauze stuff is kind of itchy and annoying but I take it off every time I clean my drains so it's okay. Oh yeah, and I've been eating plenty of like real food, like I grilled cheese and fruit and all kinds of stuff, so much better than when I had my wisdom teeth out and I couldn't really eat any food. Breathing is still kind of hard, I have to think about doing it to make it so it doesn't like disturb my chest. I try to just breathe through my stomach like Buddha breathing, you know. I'm gonna go get my drains cleaned out now, so peace. What's up YouTube? This is like my second day post off. This is what I've basically been wearing, like shirts open like this with everything wrapped up. That's where my nipple's gonna be. That's where my other nipple's gonna be. Some part of me wants to redo this wrap, which I can do now because it's been over 48 hours, so my mom can help me take it off and put it back on um, to put it higher, you know? But I, I'm afraid to do that because I'm afraid I'll take off the bandages like underneath the wrap, which would be not good. So I kept this on so far the whole time. I just like peeked under it a little. And my incisions look really gross um, from what I can see, but like also I can't see that much because it's like dark. And I'm really bloated right now. So if you look at me from the side, it's like I like I'm like no chest and then like I have like big belly. Hope that you can see. Because I haven't gone number two in, since before my surgery. From all the drugs, I think. Make it really hard to go. So my hair's been good which is top priority, obviously. Somebody already started messaging me on Instagram, like, how was your experience with Dr. Kim? Like, would you recommend him? I'm like, I don't know, like, I just, I'm two days out of surgery. So yeah. Um, my family brought me some plants, which I really like plants, so that's good. Top pro tip, don't watch comedy movies because for me, when I laugh, my even like breathing sometimes hurts my chest. So laughing like makes you do this and that hurts really bad. So, 
Now I can go to the bathroom almost on my own. I just can't um, get the toilet paper because it's at a weird angle. So I have my mom get the toilet paper for me in advance. And I also can't open the door on my own because that takes too much like pec muscle. Like I can't use my pec muscles at all. Any muscles in my chest or even like my biceps kind of. So, um, yeah. But I can do my own pant, my doing my own underwear and stuff. So it's good. Also, I keep like hunching over like this. My mom was worried that I was hunching over. And like, no, all people in all the videos are hunched over. So it must be, it so means okay. <sighs> so now I'm contributing to that, I guess. It's weird to go from like such a high activity level for over the past week to like doing nothing. It's kind of boring, but it's like not really that boring because I'm like always like trying to do something like not be in pain. Just watching Netflix and YouTube and making little video updates like these. I don't know how like some people in their top surgery updates can be all like peppy. Like it's just so uncomfortable. But I guess everybody's updates are different. You know, everybody's experience is different. Oh yeah. I keep burping and also I keep, when I'm walking around, feeling like my shirt is brushing up against my nipples or where my nipples used to be, which they used to be like, you know, here or something. Now they're over there and I can't feel them. But when I walk around, I can, I swear to God, I can still feel like the old nipples, which is really weird. It doesn't hurt really, it just feels like, oops, like my nipples rubbing up against a shirt. Whenever I go to the bathroom and I go pee, and I also like, can like feel something in my chest, like, I think just because like, the way that my body relaxes to go to the bathroom. It like relaxes some of these muscles too or something. And like, I actually have no idea if this is what happens, but that's what it feels like. So then these muscles kind of relax. I can like feel, feels like a circle, like where my chest used to be. If anybody else has had that, let me know. Cause I don't know what the hell's going on. Anyway, I'm gonna keep drinking prune juice and stuff to try to go to the bathroom. And um, if I don't go to the bathroom by tomorrow, we're gonna take laxatives. I'm gonna go back to laying in bed now and watch some other shows. Hello, it is the evening of second day of recovery. Uh, the prune juice worked apparently because I was uh, on the toilet like on and off for probably at least half an hour. So if you're getting constipation, try some prune juice. Well, I'm not as uh, bloated anymore. Figure out a new way to hook the drains up. This one is carabinered onto me. And this one is uh, pinned on with a safety pin. I can like sit and stand and walk around pretty normal now. Tomorrow I'm gonna try to redo my wraps or have my mom redo my wrap, which I'm nervous about because I don't want it to like mess up something or like not know how to put put it back on right or I don't know or make it more uncomfortable. But my right drain is still really bugging me. Now that I'm less bloated, it's getting kind of loose on my stomach, even though it's not really supposed to be my stomach, but like. My stomach that was bulging out before was like holding it up kind of. My neck and my back are kind of sore because I'm like hunched over, which is annoying, but I can't really stand straight up because my skin on my chest is like tight. It's way easier for my mom to clean my drains now because there's not as much blood coming out of them. And also like I can move my arms a little bit more. She changed the way she does it a little bit. Like using um, paper towels with alcohol, rubbing alcohol on them, on them to like squeeze down the tube so it's smooth instead of like the gloves, which kind of got stuck on it and stuff. So hopefully tomorrow, my, if I redo my wraps, it'll go well. Okay, so just took off my wraps for the first time and it looks really kind of nasty, so whatever. And I'm really still, still like bloated in my stomach, but not as much as yesterday, so. I'm all hunched over and I look really silly, but I think it looks pretty good, you know? And my incisions go up like kind of high in my armpits, which I wasn't expecting, but it's okay. They're in a normal spot. My nipples are in a normal spot. Yep. My skin looks pretty taut. The drains. Yeah, I'll stand up and you can see from the side how friggin' bloated I am. You yeah. know, this is normal, everybody, so don't freak out. Well, we hope <laughs> this, this, um... this posture. This is normal for a while, at least. Ah, it's mostly uncomfortable still in my armpits. Looks good, fam, looks good. And my nipples are all bolstered up still. Which they gotta be. 
I'll show the drain underneath. Okay. It's uh, way underneath the armpit. It's hard to see. No boobies. <laughs> Hello. This is third day, and um, I just got up because it was really hot in here, so I got up to turn on a fan because um, my family's out right now, so I just was like, no big deal, I can do it. That was not a good idea. So the fan's on the ground, so got out of my bed and went on the ground and like well, walked over there and like went and knelt down, but I was like kneeling. And I kind of fell to like the side. And usually when you fall to the side, you can just put your arm there and st sit back up. But as soon as my arm hit the ground, I was like, shit. Because I could feel it in like my whole side, of, right side of my chest. Like the muscle there went, like contracted to keep me standing up. And uh, that was not pleasant. So now my whole right side of my chest hurts. And that was like two or three minutes ago. My family's gonna get home soon, but this sucks. People don't go trying to do all kinds of shit when you're alone because that could have been really bad. What's up? It's day five of recovery. Um, then this freaking sucks. Um, like, it's usually okay during the day. Like, I'm just chilling, eating food, and like, walking around every little while, watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine. But like, at night, it's so really hard to like go to sleep. It takes me forever to get to sleep. And um, I have to like take Benadryl so I can sleep, which sucks, but like, whatever. I smell really bad and I'm really oily all the time. So that's fun. Mom, do you have any updates for the camera? Um, I would say that the pain is, uncomfortableness is better since last night and this morning. Patient's mood is better. <laughs> I'm having my friend's visit today, so I have to actually put some pants on for the first time in a couple days. Oh, the drains. Of, we've had to clean the drains probably between 12 and 20 hours, like, waiting a, long, a lot longer to clean the drain. Which is pretty good. I can, like, mostly stand up straight now, so... I've been trying to, like, stand up so that I can, like, stretch and, like, not get my back all really messed up, because... One of the nights my back like hurts super bad from like laying at like a weird way and like not really moving my lower back. So I uh, made it so hard to go to sleep one night and like last night was okay though. My like back was fine. I just couldn't go to sleep because like my chest is so tight all the time. And also like I keep sitting like staying up like thinking about stuff like and getting sad and I'm like stop doing that. Like for the past year or so I've never had any problems like sleeping at all i could sleep like on command and now it's like so hard to go to sleep like i have to take benadryl and like i try to watching like asmr videos which usually help me or like listening to my sleep music and that didn't really help me either so only the benadryl helps me sleep now anyway my drains are like kind of less painful now like they don't they don't like they're uncomfortable but they don't actually hurt me all the time anymore so that's good it's kind of keeping on Hello everyone, amid a flash flood warning in my uh, county, I'm going to make a day 7 of recovery update. Um, so it's officially been one week since my top surgery. Stuff has gotten way better since like day 5. The past couple days have been like pretty much chill, like very minimal pain. Just a lot of like random discomfort. Like right now I'm kind of uncomfortable because it feels like this like the wrap is kind of like pulling down, but like I don't know, it's probably not, it's probably fine. Um, and like the drains are still kind of uncomfortable, but I'm getting the drains off tomorrow, so I'll let you guys know how that goes. I am very happy, and like my mood has been better over the past couple days, because I'm not in pain all the time, which is awesome. I'm like taking way less medication now, like all of today I've only taken like, all of Tylenol, so it's pretty good compared to before when I was taking like Oxy and like two Tylenol every, like, every time I could take them. This weekend I had a bunch of people visit, like my friends came and visited, which was really nice. I hadn't seen any of them for a long time and got to see my dad for the first time since surgery because like he was out of town. Now that I can like get up and walk around and stuff, like I feel way more independent and even though I'm just like kind of doing the same things I was doing earlier, like I don't have to be constantly uncomfortable. Even though I am like always a little bit uncomfortable, like I 
my back is hurting or like my neck or something or like my drains or whatever. So it does suck, but it's like okay now. And I feel like a human kind of again, even though I haven't showered in a week, I got that dry shampoo going on. So not, not too gross. Anyway, I like have had to tighten the wrap a couple of times or have my mom tighten the wrap because like as my swelling has gone down, I've just like tightened it. But these two last two times my mom has tightened it, she hasn't like taken the wrap off and then like tightened it. She just like pulled the like, uh, like undone the elastic or not elastic, undone the fastening and then just like moved it a little bit more. It's still kind of hard to breathe, <laughs> but like not really, not because of the compression of the wrap or anything. I can make this, it's like actually kind of loose now. Um, and I've been able to sleep a lot easier. I still take a Benadryl to sleep, but it's not like a nightmare. My stomach actually like, went back to like, like normal, which is kind of cool. Um, you can kind of see like, wow, I don't look like I'm really like pregnant or something right now. And from the side, I can like almost stand up straight. And so like, looks like I have nice flatness going on right now. Pretty clutch. I was wearing this shirt and I had people over and like, look at that. Boom shaka laka. I'm still pretty bruised. But, and like the breathing has gotten worse the past couple days, I think just like, that's what happens. So also I'll tell you guys what my sensation is like right now. Like, I actually feel like I have a lot of sensation. Everything that's like not covered at all, I can feel, which is like sweet. I can like, feel less where there's like tape here. I can feel all the way down the middle. And then like here I can feel. And like, my nipples I cannot feel at all, which like they're really freaking like tied up right now. So I'm not surprised. And I can feel my incisions. Like my range of motion is like better. Do about that much. I kind of do more if I like, you know, do one or the other hand. This is maybe how far I can do my arms. Like this far out. Without like feeling some pull. And then like. Yeah, my yeah, I can't move that much right now. But this feels a lot better because like I can actually like move my up my elbows out a little bit so that my armpits can get some air because First few days my armpits like got zero air. They were like, I was like really tight and the drains were there and it was like fucking poking me and it was horrible. So now I can actually like move and like, if I have like an itch or something in my armpit, I can kind of like, like let them breathe a little bit. I haven't been itching at all because like, that's not good. I'm trying to like absorb the itch as part of my being is how I'm thinking about it. Like, one pro tip, okay? Y'all need to get some kind of like, that like sippy cup or type thing. Like this is like a, straw like reusable straw cup from the university of wisconsin madison like go badgers it's like a refillable cup that this thing is like the lid has like a seal on it so it doesn't spill it's like to the side so um this has really been a lifesaver i can turn it all the way like to the side like this and it won't spill have a reusable cup for your top surgery if you're like planning on getting it i also have not gone outside in a week which is like not probably the best but whatever. Usually if I have nothing to do, I have to sit around or something for a day. Um, like I used to always get dysphoria and like think about my body and think about shit like getting top surgery and like be sad and stuff. But because I got my freaking top surgery, no dysphoria. So yeah, I've actually had like zero dysphoria since my top surgery, which is cool. But also like, I literally have never like been around anybody who's misgendered me. So like, duh, like I'm not gonna get dysphoria from like social things at all. And most of my physical dysphoria was from my chest, which is now gonzo. My voice, like I think about it sometimes, but like not really because I'm only like around people who like know my gender. So that's pretty lit. I keep getting a little bit out of breath when I talk a lot because I think like I still have to kind of breathe like carefully, but whatever. I, the first several days had to like breathe a hundred percent belly breathing. Like, like, I don't know if you guys do that, but like breathing just like in your stomach. But in the past like two days, I've been able to kind of breathe in my chest, which I was like, whoa, that's so cool. I'm just like really excited and really hopeful that getting my drains out tomorrow will go well and that all this will be much easier when I have no drains. I'm officially two weeks post-op today and I'll do my bandage changing as I'm giving you updates over like the past week. I'll let you know if it's getting like get gross and you don't you can just look away. So a week post-op I had appointment with like a nurse, a surgical nurse, 
and the nurse get my drains out, which literally changed my life. Like I felt so much better after getting my drains out. So if your first week sucks, like that's okay. You'll feel a lot better when you get your drains out. Um, and then I felt like a normal human again. I could like hang out with my friends and I didn't feel like gross, like blood, like sitting on like my body basically, like in bags. I felt so much better after that. And that's when they gave me all like the stuff to take care of my nipples. Pretty much stuff has been going well. Um, I'm really happy with my results and like everything I can see so far. Um, and I just today like drove for the first time. I just drove around for like five minutes. I was like, fine. Driving is like not great two weeks post-op, but that could just be like me, I don't know. But they said you're supposed to be able to like, go back to work two weeks post-op, which like I definitely can't do right now because I don't want to drive for like half an hour, which is how long it takes to get to my work. So this is what I look like all wrapped up, so nothing graphic, but I have been wearing, so I wear this every day, like all the whole day. And I thought that like binding every single day, like post-op would be horrible. Like, cause I hate binding. I hate binding when I like had like, tissue there but it's actually been like really easy and like a lot of times I'm not bothered by it like I kind of got I'm getting like slightly out of breath talking right now just kind of talking like straight and like not taking any breaks but normal conversation and like throughout the day I don't get out of breath or anything and it's never like an issue that is tight on me even though I'll be keeping it like tighter than it was when I like left the um, nurse's office so anyway it's like pretty good and I keep it like at the same level everywhere and try to have like the ends of the wrap be like in the middle of my chest where there's no scars or like the middle of my chest is like the most like healed part really and then like somewhere like behind my armpit but like back here so it just kind of depends on like how long your wrap is and how wide your body is but um you'll have to like figure out the most comfortable way to wear it and throughout the day sometimes i like kind of pull up on stuff like to adjust it to be all the way up to my armpits to cover like my drain holes that's one of my drain holes right there everywhere that's not wrapped i have sensation totally fine so i'll take off my wrap now so if you don't want to see like my incisions and stuff then look away but yeah it's been going really well like i've been hanging out with people i'm not working like i took three weeks off work um because i'm like kind of a wimp so i didn't want to go back at two weeks um and turned out to be the right decision so far okay so my wrap's kind of getting gross i wish they'd give me two or something so i could like, wash one i'll probably try to wash it but it has some like gross stuff just like from like a little bit of dry blood on it but whatever. i was expecting to be really smelly because i can't shower but i've been like fine like i'm not even i used deodorant one day and i've showered one time since surgery so um anyway i've been i had like deodorant wipes for a while but they had like fragrance in them and my skin is sensitive to fragrance so i didn't do that anymore i just use like wet wipes like sensitive skin wet wipes to like clean everywhere kind of like very gently and anyway this is like what's kind of going on right now i'll get a little bit closer that's what's going on so this is two weeks post-op Everything like appears to be pretty good. I remember seeing somebody's like a couple days post-op thing and they're like, it looks really good. And like, I was like, what the hell? It doesn't look really good. It was all bloody and gross. But like my, I like, I, I, I think this looks good. Like, because my nipples and my scars are like going to be in the right place. So that's like good. What good means for me right now. I'm just going to show you a little bit where my numbness is right now at two weeks post-op. I can feel like the incisions. I can't really feel it right here and I can feel it here again. So I can't feel like this area of the incision. But I can feel the incision a lot right here, which is so weird. And I can feel like in the middle here, this part is like, there's not an incision in the very middle. So and this I can feel, and I can't really feel it here. I can feel it here kind of. And then like, I can feel it all the way up here and I can feel it all of my armpit and stuff, which it's very weird. I get like a lot of weird like pain on my right side. So my right side's kind of my like, my problem side, but the nipple here is doing better. So I don't know. Um, but when I laugh, it hurts all in here. And like when I walk, I kind of like hold my chest here just so it doesn't hurt, but it's not like all the time hurting. It's just like uncomfortable. Okay, so now I'm gonna like take these bandages off. I change these bandages every day, like around 7 p.m. or something. But you can change them anytime you want. I just decided to do that. So my skin is like pretty, Good. This might be kind of gross to see me take this off, so if you don't want to see that, look away. But there's my nipple. My nipple like looks different every day, which is so weird. Like I never thought it would like literally look different every single day, but like the coloration is like a slightly different, and like it looks way more like alive now than it used to. It used to be like like really dark, um, but the pink's coming back into it, which is awesome. The nipple bandages I take off, like, they have, like, random stuff on them, which, like, I guess nobody, like, told me about. They kind of told, like, it'll, like, shred, shed tissue or whatever, but, like, I didn't think about it. So it's just kind of, like, weird, gross stuff on, like, the bandages when I take them off. It's not bad, I think. They, like, did tell me that, but anyway. So this nip has, like, slight projection now. Oh, my God, like, barely any. But it used to have, like, no projection. More weird stuff on this one. 
Also, at first, like, these, this really irritated my skin, like, taking on and off the bandages every day, and I hated it, but now it's, like, not that bad. Like, it, I really don't like doing it because it's uncomfortable, but it's fine. Now, like, I'm gonna show you some close-ups of my nips, just, like, for my, for my reference and for you guys, whatever, but anyway, this is, like, what my chest looks like. It'll, they look really weird because, like, this is where the bandage was and stuff, so, like, this is not what my skin is actually like. You can, like, kind of feel this. It's, like, weird, like, a partial sensation around. Like, whoa, like, right there, I can feel it all <laughs> totally. That's so funky. Here I can feel totally, here I can feel totally, I can feel like, I think I can, oh, I kind of can't feel that, I don't know, I can kind of feel that. And then like, my nipple I can't feel at all, but it's like, feels like skin, feels alive, feels good. Anyway, that's my left nip. This is my right nip, which is was like initially looking a ton better than the left nip, but now it looks about the same. There's still nice circles and like in a good spot on my chest and stuff. And then uh, it looks all gross and like, but it's like pink at least. In real life, my skin doesn't look that like bruised or anything. It looks pretty like normal, except for this bruise, which I think is from where my drain was, which makes me really uncomfortable because I hated having the drains in. If you don't like to see nasty shit, you can look at it now because my nips are down here just chilling out for a little bit. Anyway, before when I used to have to wrap off and all the bandages off, it would like be so tight, I'd be like like hunched over. But I'm kind of used to the tightness now, and I actually really enjoy like having to wrap off for a little bit just to like breathe. And I can also kind of breathe in my chest now, which is really nice, but anyway, I kind of feel like normal and I really like am excited for when I don't have to wear the wrap every day and I can just wear like bandages over my nipples or whatever, but like not the wrap because the wrap is like so annoying. And I've been like enjoying being able to just wear shirts and like not have to worry about binders and shit underneath it, even though I can only wear like button ups right now, so I'm wearing like the same type of shirts I was wearing before anyway, which is so ironic. Like, I did have like a bad dream last night that um, like I went to like a gym or something and like was like changing and like somebody was like, like I had had top surgery and it was like this kind of situation and someone was, and some dude was like, what's up with your nipples? Like, why are they so weird or something? And I was like, I had surgery. There's like healing or whatever. And like, I don't know, it was a funny dream. Like no one would say that about like someone's weird looking nipples in real life. It's funny that like I have dreams now that like I had, like that are of my current body. Before I would have dreams that like I had just had top surgery and I like, couldn't put my arms up or something. And then like I would put my arms up as I was waking up and I'd be like, oh, like shit, I'm gonna fuck up my top surgery. I'm like, wait a second, I haven't had top surgery yet. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, sleeping is like still hard, but not as hard. Um, if I take a Benadryl, I can like knock myself out. It's pretty easy. So I think that's all I got for the two weeks post up. Overall, my experience has been pretty good. Re it's really bad. For it was really bad the first like five days, and then <laughs> since then it's been like various degrees of better. So. I have kind of like a normal life now, thank God. I'll probably take pictures as I heal so people can see the progress every couple weeks, but I'm not going to make vlogs for like every week post-op, obviously. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy my video about like non binary top surgery because as I'm making this, there may be like, like definitely fewer than 10, maybe like five comparable videos for like non binary people who've had top surgery on YouTube. So hopefully this can help somebody out there who's non-binary and wants to get top surgery or like anybody who's not on T and gets top surgery. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna go put all my nipple stuff back on and wrap myself back up with my help from my mom and my brother. They've all been very helpful and graciously taking care of me these past two weeks. Um, so yeah, thanks so much. Like, subscribe to see more of my updates and stuff and peace out y'all.